Hey, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And today we're going to talk about how to talk to men. If you're struggling to keep a conversation going with a guy or you want to talk to a guy in a way that's more attractive to him, then this is for you. So there's three different things, three different ways uh, to talk to a guy that I'm going to talk about today that's really attractive. But first, let's talk about what doesn't work. So a, a lot of times women will come to me and they'll say, Matt, you know, I really want to, I, I don't really want to, you know, have to talk about guy topics. I don't want to have to learn about sports and do all those things. Just to let you know, talking about guy topics is not attractive. It's not necessarily unattractive. You know, if a guy's into sports, he might like a woman who's into sports too. It's just that he's not attracted to her typically for that. It's usually like a plus, you know, something added on top of it. Uh, another thing that a lot of time that you don't want to do is a lot of women will kind of, uh, the, they'll like put men down, right? Because they see guys doing it to each other, like, you know, busting on each other. And they'll be like, oh, well, maybe that's how I should talk to them. And then they'll start busting on guys. And what ends up happening when you do that, that, that one actually is very unattractive. Like it's a guy will be repelled by you. If you do it every once in a while, it can be cute. But if you're doing it all the time, it can be incredibly unattractive and it can push a guy away. Uh, if, if you're trying to talk like a guy all the time, uh, he's going to start seeing you j as just another guy, you know, and you'll end up in the friend zone. You don't want that. Um, and the next one is relying on commonality. So there's this kind of this myth out there that you should, you know, find a whole bunch of commonalities with another person and and you know that's something that's going to be really attractive and and it is attractive to the extent that of friends right making friends with somebody it can be cool to have other friends that are have similar commonalities but for a guy um it might it could be something to talk about but it's not attractive it's not going to make him more attracted to you and making him more attracted to you is what we're talking about here so and then the last one is is having expectations. I have women come to me all the time and they're like, oh, Matt, I want to express my feelings to a guy, but he doesn't respond the way that I want him to. You know, how do I express my feelings and get him to respond the way that I want him to? And my answer to that is express your feelings if you want to express your feelings, but don't expect him to respond in the way that you want him to respond. He's a guy and he's going to respond in a guy way. And uh, so that's my suggestion on that one is is don't have expectations don't try to force a guy to respond the way that you want him to because that's incredibly unattractive as well so what does work the first thing that works really well is telling stories so uh, telling stories about your life telling stories specifically about your values like what you believe what um, what you value in your life what's important to you uh, what you're looking for in a relationship talking about other people and their lives and and you know correlating that to uh, you know what you're looking for it's also a good way to screen guys is is find out what he how he feels about those topics you can you can get all of that out of him if you tell a story instead of talk to him directly about it another thing another story that you might want to tell is something that you're excited about and so just to kind of um talk about stories a little bit stories are uh really powerful because we've been um We've been we were telling stories way before written language was developed in human history, and so if you tell a story, it, it kind of like makes somebody sit back and relax and just start listening to you, and it can take them through a lot of emotions, and um, that can be incredibly attractive. And if you talk about things that you've done that you uh, that were exciting or things that you're going to do that you're excited about doing that can be incredibly attractive as well um, and then the last thing in stories is uh, talking telling stories about things that you've done that are feminine so things that you've done if you if you're not sure what feminine 
being feminine is like. It's uh, it's kind of this caring, nurturing side of you. And, and if you tell stories about that side of you, that can be incredibly attractive to a man too. Because a lot of men, even if they're not consciously looking for that, they're, you know, subconsciously, like they hear that story and they're like, oh man, you know, and they start seeing you as, as somebody that they could be with in a long-term relationship because of that feminine side that you're conveying through a story. And so the second thing that you do want to talk about is uh, talk about what he's passionate about. A lot of times I'll have women come to me and they'll say, Matt, I can't get him to talk. You know, how do I get him to talk? And if you want to get a guy to talk, talk about what he's passionate about. Find out what he's interested in. You don't have to know anything about it. Just let him babble on and talk and blah, 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 blah. You know, a lot of guys, if you tell a guy, if you get a guy talking about what he's really passionate about, most guys can talk about that forever. And it doesn't necessarily have to be his job. It could be whatever he's really passionate about in his life. And so the last thing um, that uh, – well, and, and I kind of talked about this a little bit late, uh, earlier – is the last thing that you want to talk about is things that you're excited about in the future. Um, and uh, you know, ha and that kind of goes along with this idea that I talk about in some of my other materials, which is you know having an exciting and interesting life. Right. And if you have things going on, a lot of women come to me and they're like, oh, well, you know, I don't want to start doing things because I want to have a guy with me, you know, and I want us to do them together. And um, it's so much more attractive to a guy if you're already doing interesting things, you know, because then it's like, oh, I want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of that uh, experience. I want to be a part of her life. That's she has an awesome life. I want to be a part of that. And so, yeah. So that's the three things that you want to do is tell stories, talk about what he's passionate about, and talk about exciting things that you have going on in the future. So that's it for today. Uh, if you want more information on uh, how to attract a quality man into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take the quiz there. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.